some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be listening to a phone call by the frauditor, Cops Can't Surf. Now, there was a restraining order placed on him where he could not contact his ex-wife or son. Now, what this genius decided to do was get a third party to make contact with the son to teach him a science lesson. And what you're seeing on the screen currently is a snippet of that conversation with the third party and his son. It was included in his thumbnail, but not anywhere else in the video. But it contributed to him getting that warrant placed upon him. So, let's sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Spring Lake Police writing. Man, you guys have really stooped to a new low. You Spring Lake Police have really, really stooped to a new low. Who was I talking to the other day about the rocket launch? Was that you? No, that was not me. This is like entrapment. You guys, I, I tried to make it clear that I wasn't violating any restraining order. I'm trying to teach my son science. That's not harassment. That having a third party contact my son to teach him science for me when I'm not allowed to, that's not a violation of a restraining order. These are, these are not the reasons people get restraining orders. What you guys are doing, what the Spring Lake police are doing, you're seriously like, it, it's, a, it's what's called a move. You're doing what do. This is what people with no respect and just have a totally warped outlook on the world. Uh, no respect and a warped outlook on the world. Where have I heard that before? Oh, it sounds like just about every single frauder that I've ever dealt with. Also, that could be considered projection. Projecting your own faults onto other people to make yourself look good. You like cry, baby? Do. It's pretending I'm, I'm hurting someone and I'm a domestic violence offender for trying to teach my son science after getting denied by the family court? I can't even, I'm not even allowed in the family court. And I try to teach my son science, and you guys want to put me in jail. Are you proud of yourself, Reddington? Chris. Are you proud? What's your proud. first name again? I'm not him. What's your first name? first name? Yeah. James. James. Where's uh, Chief Kerr? What's his first name? Why is he? Why does he want to do this? This is the chief doing this to me for, for calling him a b for hiding from me for years, unwilling to address an abused child instead he's going to play games with the family court and say no he, he's dangerous and he's violent and, and we're going to arrest him and keep incarcerating him and taking his life liberty and health you're taking my life from me bro i need medical procedures i need treatment and surgery you have been offered mental health therapy over and over again but you have thus far refused to take it well, the t clock is ticking, and now you've got a warrant out for your arrest because of you trying to get in contact with your son to defy a restraining order. Maybe you should consider taking the help this time. You guys are fucked up. How can you even work there? You, you should be disgusted with what your department has done to my son. Who's that talking? Where's the chief? Put the lieutenant back on. Somebody needs to read me these charges. There's nobody in the public defender's office today. I want, I deserve to know what these charges say. I want to hear my charges read to me right now. So you want to speak to the officer that just spoke with you? <laughs> or anyone willing to read me my charges and, and, and let's stop playing games and, and act like men. What are you guys charging me with? What did I do? I want to know what I've done and why I need to go behind bars for what I've done. Okay, Chris, I'll see if I could get that off. Thanks, James. Here, right? Yeah, please hurry. I have a lot to do today.
doesn't seem like you got a lot to do right there, considering that you are still laying in bed while you're doing this. If you had more important things to do, you'd probably be up and about already. Let me find a mother. You guys are pathetic, Spring Lake. Lacey, Lavalette, Bayhead. You guys are pathetic. All you can do is lock me up and put me away. That's all you can do. So fuck it. Now the video ends quite abruptly, so I don't know what happens after this. Anyway, children should be allowed to see their fathers as far as I'm concerned, but if there are circumstances where the child will be in danger, yeah, get that restraining order and make sure that they're protected. And abuse can take any form, physical, mental, or emotional.